Hey everyone, Dudesuit here back with another Yu-Gi-Oh! OCG video and today we're taking a look at Tenpai Ga Dragon gameplay for the OCG and we're also gonna take a look at my new decklist here. So, it's been a while, so I've been playing Tenpai Dragon, I've won a couple of locals with it, I've won uh, weekly battle leagues in my community with this and it's been going fine. So now I've settled on the hand trap build. So this is 20 hand traps. I haven't really um straight past the 20 hand traps that I've been using. So two shifter is mandatory for the most part. It helps you win games. Missiles are really great against voiceless, which is very common here in OCG. Ash and Max are mandatory, you know, because we live in OCG. Max he exists. Uh, Ghost Ogre and Snow Rabbit and Ghost Bell and Haunted Mansion. Just really, really good right now. Effect Vader and Imperm are also really solid. Um, Duster and Heavy Storm are pretty uh, mandatory in my area. Or where mostly in my country because uh, a lot of back row decks tend to appear. Uh, the Talents and, ta and Thrust Package is really handy, really great uh, toolbox to get into... Um, your main normal spells really good. Uh, extra deck. Uh, I just added the link OTK package of Raging Phoenix, Zelantis, Promethean, Tita. So really good. Then side deck. Uh, Black Goat Laps is pretty interesting because it's uh it's been used as really good side tech right now. You can uh get this off of uh thrust alongside D barrier. Uh, Droplet Cosmic are really really solid. Especially against like voiceless and um you know a, a lot of other decks. So can't really track what uh other decks are really solid, but yeah, stuff like Snake Eyes and Fire King are still dominating, but we're gonna find out if the ban list hits them. This is coming soon. So now let's go to the replay. So replays we have a lot. So the first two replays I'm going to show you is how to OTK under Pot of Prosperity. So this is against Chimera. I have a lot of Chimera gameplay. So they're going to patchwork and they're going to go into Mirror Sword Knight. But they're going to go into their Chimera Fusion early. I'm going to negate the hand rip effect of this, of the Phantom Beast King. So I really used up all my hand traps here. It's really risky to do that. But I just want to waste their resources. <clears throat> so now they're stuck with um, Nightmare Apprentice. And they had to ditch Diabels. But that's scary. They have Super Poly set. But I don't know that. So we're going to go Pot of Prosperity. So um, I'm going to pick Duster here. Because I don't want that back row screwing me up. So they're going to go Duster. They're going to go Super Poly for some reason. But I guess it's for... Uh, for them to summon something. We're gonna go into Sangen. We're gonna use Ghost Bell to stop that revive. We don't want to get stomped by that. So I'm gonna make uh Tenpai Dragon by Dora. I got us. Actually just summon. And they're gonna get strong Dora and this is pretty much OTK. But we're gonna we're under shifter so it's gonna take a while. We're gonna work a bit hard. Half damage means that it'll take a while longer. I'm gonna go uh by the dragon, go Fedora and get Strong Dora back. We're gonna keep dealing damage. And people always ask me if can you OTK under shift uh under prosperity, yes. Under shifter, yes, but I'm not sure if you have gameplay of that. We're gonna go Trident Dragon, just top two and just deal the winning blow. Cool. 3k. So that's still 9k even though it's half damage. So it's really cool. Another one is against a Centurion. So pretty decent hand. Two hand traps. Uh, my opponent bricked here. So we're pretty fortunate with that. <clears throat> so we're gonna go dig. So I'm gonna dig the field spell. I'm gonna dig Sangan Manor. We're gonna summon Baidora. Since uh, it's protected by the field spell, we're gonna get uh, Zhongdora now. We're gonna keep Sang and Kaiman in our hand, just in case they have anything. And as you can, as you saw earlier, they set uh, Super Poly. So 
So they're gonna super poly, which is uh actually incorrect because um they can uh we can still go into our place. I'm gonna go by the dragon. We're just gonna not care about Maxi. We're gonna draw one here. But we need to deal max damage. We're gonna go into Transcend Dragon just to stop them from responding. We're, keep, we're gonna keep attacking. And try the dragon. We're gonna just deal to attack because we're pretty much clear. And that's pretty much it. And this one is a bit weird. We're gonna have two runic games. Oops. So yeah. Um so my play here is I have to play conservative because Runic uh punishes you for creating huge boards. So we're gonna go seals pass here. We're gonna set imperm, we're gonna set Sang and Kaiman. They're gonna have a lot of draw power there. They have desires and demise. So they're gonna go try and banish my seals but i'm gonna save it i'm gonna inform that they're gonna negate but i'm gonna tribute but then they have called by which kind of sucks they're gonna draw two thankfully they can't kill me here so that's pretty good we're gonna duster but they're gonna smiting storm first but hey we get to remove because they're they didn't use hugin they're gonna go uh Fedora to get Jongdora. They're gonna try to banish, but we're gonna synchro this off. And we're just gonna get Jongdora out. We're gonna get uh, Baidora out with Jongdora. We're gonna get Kaiwin here, set first. And we're gonna keep on attacking. They're, they're no longer able to respond. We're just gonna blast this with 6k and we're pretty much good. Here's another rune game, which is a <clears throat> pretty difficult matchup for the deck. So they're gonna go um they're gonna go moon in here. But we're gonna blow it up since they use moon in. We're gonna punish that. We're, I gotta get uh Magnumet out just to get me uh another Tenpai name. So I gotta I want Baidora on my hand. <clears throat> So we're gonna play safe here. We're gonna use Baidora first. We're gonna set the field spell, field spell, field spell activate. They're gonna use destruction on it. So the the destruction was kind of painful. They dark bribe my sand and Kaiman, but that's fine because we just wanted to bait them. They're gonna protect Moonin, so we're gonna have nine banish cards, which is gonna be annoying. We're gonna blow up that Moonin with Ogre just to pressure them into getting something out, something else out. I'm saving the cyclone for the fountain, which is still the graveyard. They can still retrieve that, so that's really annoying. I forgot to max, I think, on this one. Or I'm not sure if I could, but yeah. We're gonna destroy Gary, they're gonna destroy Magnumot. And we're just gonna set um just gonna set impermanent cyclone. So we're gonna take another uh take advantage of them not Getting Hugin out, we're gonna just but we're just gonna banish. But then they had another demise, which is annoying. They have desires as well, so that's like draw four. They they even have uh there can be only one in super uh super ancient organism. And the best part here, I just crashed my Baidora because I had Lightning Storm, so I'm gonna use Lightning Storm main phase to, to wipe back row and destroy floodgates. I'm gonna set my max, play conservatively. And we're pretty much in the game again. I'm gonna imperm border. We're gonna get our uh, Druze Worm out. And we're gonna use uh manor here. We're gonna send Jong Dora because we wanna revive. But then they the curse synchro, which kinda whiffs my play. We're just gonna attack with pure tenpai. We're just gonna reduce their life points. I made a slight uh, misplay here. I think I should have saved Sang and Kaimen, so I should have used it here. But then I just added Fedora to hand, so it's it should be okay. Then they have Duality. They have a lot of consistency cards here, and they're gonna bring out. There could be only one because they know I'm playing all Dragon. I'm gonna save Fedora because if Fedora, um, 
Fedora doesn't get destroyed by battle, we're gonna set Imperm in front of that. Uh, there can be only one. They're gonna keep battling. They're not playing their set, so that's fine. Uh, they have a dead hand here. So we're just gonna battle. They're gonna use uh, Freezing Curse to summon. They're gonna summon, I'm gonna Imperm, and we pretty much win the game because Tikobu is down and we can just revive the target. Now here's a way to shut down your opponent during battle phase. This is against Sky Striker. So they're just gonna go with the standard Sky Striker play. So they're just uh they whiffed on this uh field spell attempt. But hey, they they still have Ray. <laughs> and they misplayed by not using Shizuku. We're gonna punish uh them for having Ray in the graveyard by using Magnumot. So we're gonna go by Dora. We're gonna go Zhang Dora. And we're gonna go um main face transcend dragon because we don't want them to resolve anything and we want our OTK to be uninterrupted. So we're just gonna destroy uh Sh Shizuku here. We're gonna just deal enough damage to OTK. And we're gonna go transcend dragon and by the dragon just to clear up. We don't even need to go into Trident Dragon. Now here's a little uh, play I've tried. So <clears throat> I was forced to go first here. So my only play option at this point in my build is to use Dawn Dragster. <clears throat> so Dawn Dragster is really essential here. In keeping me uh, with the negate. So we're gonna just have to out-tech them. So we're gonna stop um, gonna stop Trudea with Ghost Ogre. Okay, that's safe. We're gonna destroy the field spell with Dawn Dragster. And they they have breaks on their turn, so that's fine. And they shut down my Brimming Manor, so we have to just play tactical, play really slow again. We're just gonna shut down um, Emblema Oath, because we just don't want that. <clears throat> now they have D Fisher, but that's totally fine. And we have Bidora, so I guess we can pretty much OTK. We have uh we have Zhongdora and this is pretty much OTK. I'm gonna get Fedora out. But then we're playing under D Fissure, so we need to just deal uh enough damage to ensure that we can play we can uh be okay without uh losing our resources. So we just get it. Next is another voiceless voice game. I've played voiceless so many times uh, in this format. It's uh, it's not familiar. We're gonna ash the Saphir. I think I should have built that. So yeah, uh, slight mistake there, but then that's their only play. We're gonna trigger Prosperity first. They're gonna deal Maxi, so that's fine. They're gonna they're gonna draw a lot, so that's pretty fine. They're gonna heavy storm. I'm gonna go by Dora. They're gonna ash that, and we're pretty much stumped. Uh so we're gonna just end on by Dora. But we have three hand traps over their one Safira ritual. But they draw two. But then they didn't draw anything good. But we didn't draw another extender. So we're but we have four hand traps. So this is this the this hand trap lineup can beat uh beats up um voiceless voice a lot. So that's really good. We're gonna we're gonna build a pre prep, but then uh they have called by for that, so they're gonna add two, but then they don't they're not able to really extend too far. We're gonna maxi on this because we just needed a draw. We're gonna Vader the Skull Guardian just to not get a low. But they still have Nadir, so they're gonna draw one. They're gonna summon Maximus, but their draw one is another Nadir, thankfully. And they're gonna go into um they're gonna go into pendulum graph, so they're pretty good. They have a pretty decent uh, lineup. But then uh I would argue our hand just beat this. So they don't have a negate, they only have one spell negate, so that's fine. And we're gonna bait that spell negate. We're gonna blow up the pendulum graph. And that was kind of a mistake because uh blowing up uh 
um a ritual monster with uh, the ritual spell means they can ritual again from deck so yeah or i mean they can special summon a ritual from deck just gonna make baron here for safety but you could just make uh transcend dragon so we're just gonna keep beating them up and we win this easily Now, we also have uh, two games against Wanderers. Th I think this one is just a uh, full board breaker OTK, just to showcase how much, uh, how beneficial is using board breakers when you're playing Tenpai. But the hand trap build is the one I recommend. But hey, I was using the board, board breaker heavy build early on, and it's still pretty good. Now, Maxi is totally dead in my hand because this is Wanderers and there's D Fisher, so yeah, it's gonna be sad. We're gonna Santa to pressure them using Dreaming Town. So they use Dreaming Town. They're gonna go into Rabina. They're gonna go into Tokan to get uh M Pen back. They're gonna make M Pen. And they're gonna get uh another spell card. They're gonna go into Apex Avian. But we're gonna bait uh Apex Avian by Using triple tactics style, we're gonna duster. They're not gonna summon anything. We're gonna wreck the field spell. We're gonna wreck um we're gonna wreck M Pen and that's pretty much that pretty much clears up for OTK. They don't have anything, they barely have any hand traps, so that's really good. Now here's a nifty play that I can uh, show you. This is against Rescue Ace and I have Nib. So uh, if Rescue Ace extends, overextends, they can walk into the nib. So we're gonna just watch them play. And we don't have hand trap, so we only really have nib to resolve, and we have to make sure it does its thing. So that's fine. They're just gonna set up their play. They're gonna go into turbulence, which is risky because if I had Imperm, I could have just uh, shut down the turbulence, but then we're gonna nib that entire field. Now they only have a set and they have a nib token, but the main issue here is the nib token is too big for us to actually beat, even with Sangan Manor. Try the dragon is 6k attack max, so we have to play around. So we're gonna go Sangan Manor. Add Baidora. Baidora add uh, Sangan Kaiman. We're not gonna care too much about what Impulse brings out. And we're gonna go Trust. We're gonna just clean the back row. In case. We're gonna go into Zhong Dora. We're gonna Black Rose Dragon the field. And this is pretty much OTK. So there. Uh, Zhong Dora pretty much uh, facilitates OTK. Fedora uh, revives by Dora. And this is an OTK on an open field without needing the field spell. So this is the classic line. So we're gonna just beat them up and we win the game. And their board is pretty much zero. And the last three games, we're going to have a uh, win against Vanquish Soul. So Vanquish Soul is pretty tricky. So they forced us to go first. We're going to have to play really just uh, technical here. So I'm, ju I'm just going to put my door and set up their Kaiman. Maybe I should have just uh, put uh, Kaiman here. Just set Kaiman. We're going to punish them with Maxi. But then again, they have a ton of reveals in their hand. Got a Vader just to force them to swap out, so that works. We're gonna Ash the Razen because it's annoying, but they're still gonna draw one, and they have triple tactics, which is something. They're gonna blow up my Bidora. They're gonna draw two for talents, which is fine. Thankfully, they did scan our hand. They're gonna blow up my Sangan Kaiman, but I I'm just gonna use it. And this is the benefit of having Maxi. We can still draw into stuff like Druze Worm, which saves me from getting OTK'd. We're gonna send that Caesar Valius to the graveyard. We're gonna make Rock. We don't have anything to stop the Rock, so it's fine. And we're gonna go Chain Link 1. Does their cha they go Chain Link to continue. They're gonna get uh, a revive. They're gonna we're gonna Maxi. But we're go they're gonna go Caesar Vi uh values to get uh to play around the maxi. And they're gonna go rap rock to special summon from hand, but we're gonna go ogre to blow up that rock and but they're still gonna draw 
one of Burger Crazy Chainlink there, Chainlink 7, which is pretty insane. What we baited, the rock is out. They have Mad Love, but they can't use that. We're gonna steal Caesar Values. We're gonna go into Prosperity, but we're gonna go Terraforming first just to bait out. We're just scanning for Ash Blossom at this point. We're gonna use the fields. Uh, we're gonna use Sang and Kaimen to bait them out, and they're baited. Prosperity, we hope to draw a Tenpai name, so that was the risk. Thankfully, we drew Zhong Dora here. Pretty good. And we're gonna go Fedora to have uh to just to put it with the GY. We're gonna return a monster. We're just gonna play around that by making them only return Caesar values. They're gonna uh summon Zhao Long, but that doesn't matter. We're just gonna go OTK on these. We're gonna make Transcend Dragon, put them all into attack, and we're gonna get another Bidora out just for extra damage. This is OTK under uh Prosperity, and they knew the writing's on the wall, so yeah, we win that. <clears throat> this is another flu game. This is a heavily, heavy board breaker post side. So, uh, this hand kind of hurts flu, but you're just gonna see why. But it's a pretty insane hand, nonetheless. They're gonna go the standard combo, they have Dreaming Town. My goal is to Blast the Dreaming Town, so we get three Cyclone Four set. We have to be really careful. They have Eclipse, they have Dreaming Town, and a Call dies, so that's fine. So we're gonna go just fire off all three, and we get the Dreaming Town. We get the Eclipse that saves us. We're gonna Santa Claus that M Pen just for them not to resolve anything. We're gonna go into Bidora. We're gonna Sangen Manor, we're just gonna go Zhong Dora. They have they still have a call by, so I'm still doomed in that part, but that's fine. But I think it's a weird mistake they didn't get uh they didn't uh get the Fedora out. But yeah, that's fine. We're gonna go transcend dragon. We're gonna punish. We're gonna go out field spell. We're just gonna attack with pure tenpai and that's pretty okay and we're gonna go chimera one last so this is uh pretty much uh stopping chimera with a single infirm which is weird we're gonna go mirror sword knight I'm just gonna negate the bear from it and they're pretty much stomped however they have a droll which can hurt our chances of uh winning but we have Sangen Kaimin, which is the best play around. We're gonna Ash that max. We don't wanna get punished. Get Sangen Mai, we're gonna get Vidora, they're gonna troll, but we have Sangen Kaimin for full OTK. And this is pretty much game. We're gonna get Vidora, we're just gonna set it because we're under troll. And we're gonna go Zhong Dora, and this is pretty much a win. Go Fedora, and we win. So yeah, that those are the Tenpai Dragon replays I have so far. I'll be posting more. I think I have to show you guys going first combos, especially for the synchro lines, which is pretty interesting and pretty spicy. But for now, this is uh this has been our Tenpai Dragon gameplay video. I hope you like it. If you have any other comments, leave it in the comment section. If you like the video, you can like and share. You can even subscribe to help the channel grow. But but for now, thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one. So bye guys.